I love color. It seems to talk to me when I work. My name is Ruth Gilmore Langs. I'm an abstract painter, and my studio gallery is in Isla Mirada, Florida. I think that the keys are unique in their light. The light is very different here. It's very um, ultraviolet light, and uh, that's an inspiration. As an abstract expressionist, I love painting large scale. I love thick paint all the way. Thicker the better. I use a lot of texture, definitely. I used to be a weaver um, when I was younger, and I loved the texture and fibers, and I think it's translated into the painting. It's not unnatural for an artist to burst out into abstract painting because what you're doing is you're losing an image and it becomes all about shapes and colors. And for me, I see it as a very high form of expression and extremely challenging because you're, you're losing the trees and the ocean and trying to emote and communicate through um, brush stroke, color, paint, energy in my heart and in my soul, I'm a storyteller. And however I, whatever medium you land on as an artist, it's storytelling. If we're lucky, we get to show. And showing is a completely different thing than painting and working. So suddenly you've been working alone and working alone and focusing on your topic and then you move it into a studio and hopefully have a really big fun party. I pick themes and then I follow them. And that's true for the USA series. I've been following it for 20 years. And one of the things about following a story is it started with 9-11 and the shock of that, the shock the whole country had, the whole world had with that. And then to follow that series into what America is today, there's a story there. And I'm telling it through shapes and color. And what it's saying is gonna be everybody's eyes and ears to figure that out. For me, that painting is a victory because I was trying really hard to express the beauty of America, the rivers, the sunshine, the land, the expansiveness, all the while with the limitation, which isn't that big of a limitation, but I was on a 10 and a half foot canvas trying to express our huge nation. The second piece to the USA series, which I started after 9-11, is probably the darkest piece in the series, um, mostly because it's black and white. It's a repetition of USA and the numbers 11. And as I began repeating the numbers 11, it became obvious to me that that represented the Twin Towers. I myself have come to see the paintings as mirrors and um, they're a reflection, and I think they'll offer whatever needs to be offered to each individual person, because we bring ourselves as much as anything to these paintings. They will give out, but you bring yourself, and everybody's gonna bring their own history and their own story, and their own feelings about America, no matter where you're from in the world. And I think these paintings are an attempt to express it through abstract expressionism. How lucky is that, that that's my tool?